quality of heroism is a compassion and commitment that drives someone to action that benefits the condition of others, even at the risk of the ultimate sacrifice of their own life. Today, we celebrate those men and women who have given of themselves beyond the call of duty, those men and women whose selfless actions and service have helped to secure the freedoms and rights we now enjoy. Today, we celebrate the legendary resistance and tallowness of Nani of the Maroons, the leadership, conviction, and inspiration of Sam Sharp, Paul Bogle, and George William Gordon against oppression and colonialism for which they paid with their lives. We celebrate Marcus Garvey for his vision and movement in liberating the minds and uplifting our outlook on ourselves as black people. We celebrate Sir Alexander Bustamante and Norman Manley as founding fathers of the Jamaican nation, its institutions, ethos, and meaning. We recognize and celebrate our national heroes as an honor to them. But it is most important that our people are reminded of the fact that heroes are ordinary people who do extraordinary things for the good of all. We need heroes now more than ever. In the midst of economic hardship, challenged law and order, confused morality, a general malaise in our society, and lack of growth in our economy, our children need to be reminded that we are a great people and we can do great things. We need hope. And the symbols of hope are our heroes. There is hope when a poor teacher in Thompsontown, Clarendon, with children of her own, decides to take in a child who has been abandoned to allow that child to complete his education at her expense and supervision. She's a heroine in my book. And for all the abandoned children looking for someone to reach out to them and take them in, there is hope. There is a hero out there for you. There is hope when a businessman, while socializing with friends, overhears a conversation about a poor medical student at risk of dropping out of school because he couldn't afford the million dollar fee and volunteers to pay it without conditionalities or attachment. He is a hero in my book. And for the thousands of students who are struggling with fees and faced with the possibility of having to drop out of school, there is hope that there is a hero out there for you. There is hope when someone without thought for their own life braves raging floodwaters in a gully to save a youngster who had fallen in. Everyone in distress needs a hero. People who would act though others discourage them. There is hope because today we honor hundreds of men and women who have given to their communities, to the government, to our great nation and the world to make us better people. I join in saluting all our heroes, those we honor today, those yet to be recognized, and those who prefer to help in anonymity. I am confident that Jamaica has the collective will, empathy, commitment, knowledge, and skill to move our country from crime to peace, from ignorance to education, from illness to health, from inefficiency to productivity, from idleness to employment, from poverty to prosperity. The greatest threat to us achieving the shared vision of prosperity in our land is the growing disenchantment, cynicism, and frustration with our system of governance. While it is understandable that this is increasingly becoming a feature of our politics, it must not be accepted. It must be arrested and reversed if we are to have a rebirth, indeed, a positive evolution of Jamaican economy, society, values, and culture. For our democracy to achieve prosperity for us, we must work at it and keep working at it, even if we have disappointments along the way. One thing is certain, change for the better will only happen if you participate. You owe it to our heroes, who did not fall to the view that leaving things as they are was an option. I'm sure that there were many in their time who would have asked Sam Sharp and Paul Bogle and George William Gordon, why are you getting involved in the agitation for change? I'm sure there were those who held the view that it was 
futile to resist slavery, that the system would never end, that it is better to settle with what you have rather than to take a risk for change. This did not stop Sam Sharp and it did not stop Paul Bogle. Their efforts contributed to our freedom. Their ultimate sacrifice got us this far. Today we celebrate the victory of our heroes who had the vision of a better day, the courage to voice the vision and to inspire others, and the conviction to lead action in fulfillment of the vision of freedom and prosperity. Let us reflect on our own vision for Jamaica. Like Garvey, let us add our voice to the vision. Like Sharp and Bogue, let us take action. Let us use the inalienable franchise to vote for our vision. And like it was for Buster and Norman, the outcome is our victory. Have a blessed Heroes Day.